Hey everyone, I'm back. It's Marquita83. And I'm coming back to tell you about the nail care that I do to my nails. And as you can see, they're not long anymore because one nail I'm just nail showing broken. you some of the some of the nail care that I do. Just to update um what I do because I have another um video of nail care that I've done. I'll put the link at the bottom. Or I'll just um you can just scroll through my videos. I haven't done that many videos. I'm still new to YouTube, so um I want to start out with what I do. Um, I use the IBD Reconstructs Rebuild and Renew um, Nail Growth. Sorry, I was saying hair growth. And I use quite a bit. And um, you just put this on your cuticles like so. Um, I'll just do a small demonstration. And um, you put it around like this, if you guys can see. Like that. And um, you rub it in. And it penetrates really well. Okay. As you do that. And it smells good too. So it's good so um also um sorry for leaning out the camera i use the vitamin e um uh oil from home health brand and it has 9,000 i use in it and they said the more i use in it the more natural or whatever it is sorry to say whatever but yeah so, um, it's Natural Health Begins at Home, and this is a skin beauty oil, paraben free, and, um, I use this, and it doesn't have a brush on it, so you just put your, you know, dip it, and then you, it smells like, um, Limpton, Limpton tea bags, so, yeah, that's what it smells like. Um, another thing I use oil is, um, California Mango Oil, and I use California this Mango. when, um, I use this when, um, I use, when I, um, take off my nail polish off my nails and then I um put it on my cuticles and I just put a little dot because this can be greasy so when you use this it can be greasy and um this doesn't have a brush on it either it's just a thing and they do have one they have a small one that has like a brush on it get that too that has a brush but this is good for you know I don't use this all the time I just use it once out the time when I'm um when I take my nail polish off so that's basically once or once a week or every other week or whenever I take my nail polish off I use this and um, also um, I just started using this I only use this for one day it's the Jason tea tree oil it's pretty strong this has a brush on it as you can see and um, I use this one time but you know I don't really use it but um, as for this I forgot to tell you guys I use this in the afternoon so um this says to use i think at least twice a day and if you wash your hands a lot they said to use it more than twice a day so if you want to use it three times a day it's fine but i just use it lunch time because i use this the vitamin e oil in the morning and at night so i try to remember to put these on it's kind of hard to remember sometimes but at least the minimum once a day and not not nothing at all because you don't want your cuticles to be dry it's like your hair you want your cuticles to be you know very more very well moisturized um another thing is the um burt bees lemon butter cream um i use this sometimes i've been using this for like two or three weeks and i have this in my purse so this is just, just like a backup so just in case i forget the other two um and i have this in my purse then i use this but you know whatever right and vice versa so i mean you know but i like to i prefer to use these too um another thing that i use to moisturize is the triple linoleum um, linolin, sorry, linolin aloe vera lotion, and it's like a cream lotion, and it's very, very, very moisturizing, and I use this all the time, like, after I wash my hands, I use this, um, whatever, every time I wash my hands, I use this, so this is a very good lotion, and, um, yeah, I've been using this for a couple weeks now, so I got this from Sally's, don't know how much it is, but it has the tag on the back, but it doesn't have uh, the price, so, yeah. Um, another thing also um, that I use is Vaseline and um, I use this when I um, do my manicures and I put it on first before I put my nail polish on um, and I put the color nail polish on because um, I got that from a, a love tart she's um, very good with the nails and like her nail polish hauls and stuff like that she also does makeup and everything so I'll put her name in the description box below or somewhere in this video coming down or something like that so, um, but she's very good and she has a, I think it's called the perfect manicure and then she shows you how to do the perfect manicure and, um, it's very, very, um, informative and I like it. So check her video out and yeah, so, um, another thing also, um, I use the stick, 
you know, to clean my nails and stuff like that. Or to push back my cuticles. And another thing that I use for my cuticles, um, it's like a cuticle remover from Sally Hansen. Um, I don't know where that's at right now. I would show you guys. I might put a picture. Um, yeah, I put that on, put it around the cuticle, and then, um, I, you know, like that. But sometimes I use a, um, cuticle, um, a cuticle remover. Sometimes I use this pushback thing, but I don't remove my cuticles a lot. I probably do it once out of the month, once or twice out of the month. Because they said it's not good to cut your cuticles, so I do them once or twice out of the month. Not even, sometimes zero times, so, whatever. Um, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Um, then I use this as it's called a polar block. <laughs> uh, I got this from Sally's, and sometimes I use this or a flat one. You know, whatever I pick up. You know, I have a lot of these in my room, so I use this. Is the one I just picked up, but I just bought this one, so I use something like this. And I just file my nails, whatever. You know, I don't have a set time or whenever I file my nails. That's when I file my nails. So whatever about that. So another thing, um, uh, what nail polish uh, remover that I use. Um, this is a Target brand. This is nail polish. I use CVS brand, whatever remover, and it's protein enriched for natural and artificial nails. Delete and repeat. So um, I use nine acetone because um, I don't want my nails to be ultra dry. Like I don't need that anxiety right now. Okay. Um, I use this sometimes the pure acetone. Um, I only use this when um, I'm doing my nails. I only when I'm painting my nails because um, I. Um, Stop it! Let me show you guys my little doggy. Come here, honey. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here, honey. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, look. Look, look. look at my little doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Look, say hi. 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 Say hi. Look, look. Hi. Look at the, look at the mirror. Look. Okay, okay. Alright, so, anyway. Um, so, this is what I do. Um, the... Pure acetone I use sometimes um, when I do my when I do my nails. Um, I use this brush. I got this from AC Moore. It's like a painter's brush, and um, I use it when I do my my nails and when I just put the you know and I clean around and it's very good to clean around. And since it's pure acetone, it really comes off. So and I also got this from. Um, a love tart. She uses the brushes as well, and she, that was a good point that she made out. So please check out her um video. So another thing also um that I use as a base coat is the LA Girl Calcium Nail Rebuild and Nail Sorry Nail Builder for Thick Healthy Nails. I use this, and it's very good. It goes on very clear and it dries very quickly. So if you're in a rush and you need something on your nails and your nails are bare or whatever like that. Then just put them on and and you're done. Okay. Okay. So another thing um, that I use is the the Essie um, No Chips Ahead, and this is very good. Um, I put this on after I put on the LA Girl. I put this on after, and it's it's very 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 nice, and I like it. So um, I had um, my toenails painted for three weeks because of this was underneath after I put on. I just put oh, I put this on alone for my toes because I'm not saying I don't care, but but no, I think this works pretty well. Okay. Another thing that um, I use is um, out the door. Um, it's the number one fast drying. Um, I used to use Sech Viet, but um, I was looking at a YouTuber. I forgot her name, but um, and on the back of the label, it was saying something about you know, uh, like a warning saying this may cause you know birth defects and stuff like that. So I'm like, uh, I'm not trying to do that. So saying so, something about um, may cause birth defects and stuff like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna you know put myself in that predicament. So it, you know, don't get me wrong, it did work really well. But um, I'm about you know, be, it's not good for your reproductive system. Something is sad, but it's a warning label behind um, on the back of it. So not this one. It's Sage Feet. So yeah, no, no Sage Feet for me. I mean, that's what you want to use. That's fine, you know. But um, I'll stick to out the door. And this doesn't have any you know formaldehyde or anything in it. This is pretty good. It's a symbol for nail professionals. So. It's pretty good. They had this at Sal I'm not, um, they did it at Sally's, and I'm surprised they have it at CVS. I was like, wow, they have it at CVS? So, it's pretty good. I like it. And um, I usually use this, the Nail Hardener by Selling Hands and Hardest Wraps. 
but I haven't used it in a while. Um, my nails, I noticed my nails peeling a lot more, so maybe it's because I kept using the nail hardener. So I backed down with this. I haven't used this in two, three weeks. So um, I'm just con concentrating on a nail strengthener, which is this. And I'm just going to keep using this because I had one before, but I lost it. I don't know how did I lose it, but I lost it. So, um, but that's it for that. And then also, um, when I dry my nails, I use this, the nail um, polish dryer. And this is very good. It has um, quick drying. Uh, spray it on, that's it. And I use a cotton ball to take off the nail polish. doesn't matter what kind. And um, when I do my... Things I use a dyeing tool. I got this from Amazon. And um, I have like five or six of these. It came in a pack. I forgot how much it was. But yeah, these are the dyeing tools. Okay, sorry if you see any nail polish. But I just used it for the design I have on my nails now. Okay. And um, another thing. I think that's pretty much it. So, sorry you guys for the rambling or whatever. But, um... That's what I pretty much do, and that's a little bit of my nail care and some of the things I do for my manicures. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, if I got anything, I'll um, you know, edit it and put it in the video. All right, bye. Have a blessed day. Oh, and thanks for watching.